Sir! Grass season, it started. It has started. What the? Any reason why you should be looking up at me in the cab? Pay for ten foot there, son. At least we didn't come here for one angle. Sir, it's grass season. Have we got Mr. Clyde with us, like? Mighty, mighty, mighty. Grow the beard again. It's tough to look good, you know. All back into the Jeep, man. Load her up again. Yes, Chief. <laughs> Relatively fresh, 320. The yard spike tires on her. Should her tapping down in the side of the See more of that later. I've got all my pins sorted as to where we're going. That's half the battle. Finding the boys. So no vaguely where Chris is. I'm going to get his phone number. It'll be useful if I had his phone number, wouldn't it? Ugh. Are we all seated comfortably? <laughs> we didn't use usual. You stop your gunshot, would actually get something done. That's a good look on you there, Alan, the rig. We back in the at the minute, I couldn't carry it. I'm, I'm just here to hold it. I'm just yes. sitting in the Jeep. <gasps> it's all right, it's all right. So many shoulder rigs, it's all right. <gasps> Better not get run over here by Massey. 7719. That's a new number for me. What horsepower is that? She's not a four cylinder, is she? No, oh, six. Um, that'll be 160, 170, boosting to 200. I assume. We could Google it. Do you want to buy them there, Mark? Take no fear. Talk about me holding the thing up. I was say that, he's taking his time. Do you know where we're going? I sent you the pins there. Yeah, you need to get you need to get better uh, phone mounts because my phone doesn't fit in that mount. Do you know the price of that phone mount to be given out about the price that that one is an odd one? There was another two that probably are better. Does you fit the other ones? No idea. She spins this. The P's odd. Time to cover some acres. We're 20 minutes away here on just to let you know. Do you need me to hold that for you, wee pet? I know, play nice, play nice. <laughs> it's good to have him back though. It's good to have him back in there. It's great. The old blogs. Yeah. I was considering bringing Leslie and I says, I'll bring it all. I'll bring it all. I love to talk tractors. Loves a good Massey. Considering changing from the new Holmes to Massey's, he thought it'd be an upgrade. I'm just going to go quiet <laughs> for this blog. <laughs> hey, I hope you have a nice field ready for us to test our on the ball tillers. Uh, starting to dry up. These boys are starting to cut grass. I have no artificial out, no slurry out. <laughs> when are we cutting the silage this year, Alan? Because we're, I want, now he slipped the silage in on me last year. Never said nothing to me. They, they didn't even offer to me, here, do you want to come and cart? I was fed up listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like, I like to give Alan good problems. Good problems, like, we need to park thousands of cars. <laughs> yes, and it's, yeah, it just makes my life so much easier. I need word of a big road, lad. That'll all be we rubbish roads that I'll be booking up. <laughs> we have found our big M. That way. And when we arrived at the field two minutes ago, he was only halfway across her, so like, he's not long on dropping grass, so. If you don't know what we're doing this year, um, we're kilns, and we're gonna fall into the year, have been up four or five times already, seen a lot of livestock about the farmyard and stuff, so this is really kick off of grass. And the intention now is to get Mr. Clyde, who's getting wired up with his mic, and to chat to the Colonel, Cressy, the eldest of the Killen brothers, who does the big M work, and is mad about calves and sheep. We talk about calves and sheep all day. But I've told Alan, clearly, explicitly, I want him to talk about the big M. 
I'll talk about whatever I want to talk about. <laughs> this is the machinery video today. I want to chat about the big M. So we're going to talk about cows then. Put it this way. Rachel was the one who was chatting Chrissy about the sheep. And Rachel has sheep done to death. No sheep talk. In fairness, I've, I've no sheep a talk. sickener of sheep there, so I'll probably not talk too much about sheep. <laughs> Back to it here. Yeah, we'll get wired up and get this man when he's changing fields, get him stopped. Man could hardly walk, he burst his knee at a wedding party. About to say, looks like. Not on camera, how he burst his oh, knee. No, we'll not talk about that. <laughs> he thought it was 21 again, that was Make sure, wrong. make sure he tells on camera how he burst his knee at the wedding. Trying to jive or something? Uh, first of all, I'm only 21. <laughs> <laughs> this beard's deceiving, like that's, that's just a. Uh... <laughs> hey, gentlemen, enjoy yourselves, I'll see you shortly. But it has got a very cutthroat enterprise now, like there's, I wouldn't say there's the same enjoyment as now contract as it might have been maybe 20 years ago. People maybe have got more demanding, there's more financial pressure, the weller's not as good as it was. It's nearly a stress from morning to night, sort of, but because we love farming, we don't want to do anything else. We just do it, we don't think about it, we just do it. And maybe that's a bad disease, as I say, we have, as in, Maybe we should take a step back and maybe evaluate the whole thing, but we don't do it for the money, we do it for the love of doing it. You just hope you make money to pay your bills and go again. So I always like my own silage, I'm well stressed out at it because it's well I'm wanting it in dry and I'm wanting it done because for my own feed. And I don't enjoy it. See if I go to cart for our neighbours, I enjoy it. The, see when you take the stress out of it, that's enjoyable, but when it, the pressure is falling back on you, that's what it's because we do so much farmers, it's just stress from one boy to the next boy to the next boy because he wants us on a hundred percent right, but just totally right. That's what you call it. Hey Ricky. So okay, just name the number of the file. Sneakily turned that on recording when I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> How's today going? It's going amazing. All managed to not turn the, the mic off in his pocket there while it was still going when he brought it out. Good work, lad. Good work. It's easy done. It's easy done. Whose turn is it to eat, boys? Because we can't all drive the tripod camera at once. I'm thinking I'm going to eat and somebody else can drive the tripod. All right, okay, okay. And then I'll take over whoever turn it is to eat. He'll be eating all afternoon. He's chip munching away at his crisps. I was going to say, you can stick the tripod, me and have a little chippy. <laughs> oh, I'd like to bank, bank a lot more footage before I look up it. About a set down meal. Yeah, Alan's hop along now, so you have to <laughs> give him a bit of a lance, you know. Which knee is it? <laughs> I got a wee bit of privilege there, I got to sit on a wee bit longer because I'll knee there. Oh, aye, yeah, we're looking after you. Oh, he's freaking out in the middle of the field, he's just freaking out halfway through the field. Like, well, he's a fin, man. Well, he's a fin. I just knew I'd done such a good job interviewing, you know, didn't need any more. We've had an hour and a half of just steady action, man. Ice Big M just striping like belly oh, and it's just a pleasure. Even if we grab a sunshade. Couldn't beat it. Well, who else needs film today? Uh, 1180 and Adam's on the pit, so the intention would be is I'm probably going to chat to Adam and we'll get Mark in beside Phil on 1180. Don't know whether crops are heavy enough yet for 1180 to be tested, but we'll find out later on. Oh, oh, he's not happy, he's not happy. <laughs> See that cable actually I noticed yesterday. See the way it's sticking away out like that in the bag. But you here we have John's OCD. <laughs> I joke about John being OCD, runner, but you yeah, there's always stupid things, tweaks and ways to keep cables right. And some of them cables, you think Baylor Twins there? Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> some of them cables, oh. The most expensive cables we have are the, the microphone cables. They're only 300 quid. The best one one day was somebody was walking past the end of a chair at lunchtime and they just, he left the mic hanging, just, he didn't, he forgot to walk past and just caught the chair. Just a nice sweet tug. Oh, did they would drop his name? <laughs> Dr. Oh, Phil. Dr. Phil. I was thinking Father Phil and I was like, no, Dr. Phil. Dr. Dr. Phil. Phil. <laughs> you, you watch the new cable. <laughs> the other man, the other man done it. It was the best you ever seen. It was Wally McGaw. He had took the, the mic and arm put it in his pocket. He has refold up lid in the arm of the, the harvester. So he folds up the lid, sets the recorder and does that. Right at the very end of the interview, at the very last, you must have left the metal or something. He says, oh, I, I get, get out here. And he just leapt out of the cowboy wrap. <laughs> recorder in the pocket. 
Mike out the door. <laughs> so we just pulled the end, clean off. It's me that has to get all the people come back and go, oh, this is broke, that's broke. Mark's our new engineer. Yeah, it's like, he's taking over all my engineering jobs. It's just so much fun. I love it. Cause yeah, I know you love it, yeah. year where I have someone else that I hand all the problems of the kit to you. And it's like, here, can you sort it out? Didn't know what he signed up to. <laughs> if anyone hasn't figured out yet, this is my cousin Mark. This is his family. Great. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Mark's here for the long haul. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to eat sandwiches, boys. I'm going to do some work then, eh? I'm going to lie on the grass verge here and... Uh... Here's the old camera work, Michelle, boy. Had to run around the old tripod work there. Oh, don't Look at that, just take a seat out there. Just stay out there in the phone, like. Look, comes to work every once in a while, and then work on him. Adam's just shifting his co passenger for me there. <laughs> so, we get the cameras gathered up here. It's very rude interrupting the phone call, even though I'm on payroll here at the minute. <laughs> Are you a hero? No, the wording maybe was wrong. The wording maybe was wrong. I would have could class that as off higher. That, that was downtime there, Dave. Definitely downtime. Jo John installed the apps in our phones that we stopped moving, that he, he cuts the wages. And all ties it to the dog. All ties it to the dog, so the dog keeps it moving. I'm going to get mic'd up and strapped up and haven't chatted to Adam since the first day I come to see Kellen, about four episodes ago. So I'm, I'm due, I'm due. I don't want to mess him when I have him here. Keep relaxed, John. Keep relaxed. Thanks, Al. Appreciate the help. Oh, very help. What we had this week, Al? Lumping about the yard, trying to clip sheep with maggots with a bad knee and a bad back, and I don't know how to clip. I, I, I just understand it, but you sheep men and, and farmers, like, to save how many pennies you getting some other man to clip them for you? Oh, no, I'm getting a man to come and clip them. It's only because of the maggots. All oh, right, okay, okay, okay. Right. Fair enough, fair enough. You can't be having a man coming in for every wee turn. Like. So we're under pressure here. Mr. Clyde is currently driving me to the setup. I think we're under the grass at the setup. The challenge is that all my interview with Adam was in the setup, so it'll be weird to like, I think he's sending up the harvester to another job where they have big shovels, so it's like, they probably aren't even gonna take this shovel up to the next job, so I just need to make sure and guarantee I've got two or three banger shots of me walking about with a gimbal. Believe it or not, actually, I get sunburned at the shoes. Look at the ship that. Yes, sir. A proper farmer tan. Look, oh, look at the lane. Yeah, look at the lane. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it stays there, I'm happy enough. The wee man, he was, uh, he got burnt too. He seemed to run around the house, no yes. top on him. Yes, yes. There's a 12 of them. She's still tidy looking. Hey, she's a big girl for turning on the yard. Big girl, man. She still does it. You know, where else would you get a 420 horsepower tractor? that can still hook on a Sally's tour, and don't get me wrong, I'm not going to say she looks handy, but she's acceptable. You know, you know aye, she's big there, but you can still do it. Like we do, it's making look fair, baby. Aye, oh, aye, she's tidy, but Gordy lies on her like a busted sofa. <laughs> Doesn't he, <laughs> like? John Deere, that approach us, hey, and I'm not against John Deere, but, but, can you step away from a veil that you don't even use your legs? Do you auto quad? where you're nearly double clutching or sometimes even, no. The the auto quad is an old school box, right? So technically boys like you should never, should, should never be wanting them anymore ever again. A man tells me the auto power is a long game. Auto, <laughs> auto quads, a, the auto quads. Auto quads a stick. A stick, yep. The, all the John Deere no, auto quads <laughs> automatically means you don't need a gym membership. I want something that's bomb proof, but when any these electronics get bothered, I'll keep going. The way you look at it going, I'm, the last time you I'm, heard about another I'm feeling game. stuff and I want, I don't want to go to the gym. So I'll just buy an auto quad and I'll just clutch a hundred times an hour. Right lad, it's even an hour and a half of grass now this time I was out holding the camera. You're in the good field now, you butcher. I'm taking down to cool, the rear. Right bottom of that bray. Yeah. Turn right, two fields, that'll get you the shots out in the album behind it. 
do your best for me and make sure uh, try and make me not look like a complete. It's so handy for you, but if you get mixed up, you just say, hey, well, I'm not. You cut that bit out. Are you happy how we got on today, John? I think it's really handy day. only started off, what, round 12? And there's six and we're finished, so... John's being very restrained there. I asked that question to poke the bear and see what see what happened. Just we're under a wee bit of pee. It's all good now, though. It's all good. I just want to tap it on the grip. Communication's good. You have to let everybody know what's going on. So I'm, like, trying to put a hand there going, I want a crew around Wednesday. Which might not just float everybody else's plans. So it's like... I Connor might overrule you. And we've got a crew in Scotland, if the wire's right, as well. So we'll, we'll only have one kit. So one kit can't go to two places. That could be a ride later in the week. <laughs> but we'll... Who's going who's gonna to shout the loudest? Yeah. We'll focus on Mark here. He's doing a good job. He knows how to build this right now. And this hey, what one do you here. think of the driving, the rolling, for the rolling shots? Are you, are you on to it yet? Uh, well, I haven't had that, yeah, that much practice well, yet. I haven't reviewed like. it yet, Mark, like, but... Hey, I was in the back of the camera. Don't, you, don't you worry about it. Who gives a grade out of A, B and C, D? Like a B? I, uh, like a C? Grade? What? Give me a grade. It's usually like a 1 to 10 scale. Or whatever. <laughs> Whatever you want. For a first day out, I, uh, I will give you a good 7 out of 10. Seven out of 10. A oh. 10 out of 10 is pretty much you're just born to the job, like, you know. Oh. We're not going to ask him to rate my driving in the in the field. There is a reason that uh, that was you driving, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, you were very good. Based on an Allen scale, you were a 10. <laughs> you were a 10, my friend. <laughs> right, big steak on John. <laughs> I'll be dropping you on the way home, lad. You can you stick away all you want. What time do you want me down for? <laughs> I bet you if we rung Mrs. McLean right now oh, and said yeah. we don't, yeah, we want a steak, we could arrive back and be one waiting. I'll buy you a wee set of chips if you need it. Ah, hey. oh, chips. Oh, it's just treat me there like a performing monkey, pointing the camera at me going, dance, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that's how I feel that you treat me, so, you know, we're even now, we're even. <laughs> I've been doing it to him for years, he's just got on. <laughs> John, this is going to be the best sign-off of a blog ever. Now, you're, you're, you're rusty. You can tell you haven't in the office. What you do, Alan, is when you go to ask a question, you go, oh, and you put yourself in it. And then you put, you put it back to the person going, what's the answer? Well, I'm trying to keep this face off camera as much as possible. <laughs> We're getting a wee bit, wee bit scruffy. The old Gandalf beard back ways. The old Gandalf beard. Or is that, what, what's that? Hagrid, Hagrid. You're more a Hagrid. I'm more a Hagrid, Well, you're missing the bat and tap, like. Uh -huh. Thanks for pointing that out. Sorry, yeah. sorry, my bad. I was growing one the other day and it's like going to Balmoral Show, I had to decide, is it staying or is it going? Yes, I got this question. What do I do with my beard before I go to Balmoral? Did, did Mrs. McLean have a wee... She wasn't impressed. She wasn't, to be fair, she wasn't impressed, so... Give her a win! <laughs> I, I just could imagine that. I was like, John, you're not going to Balmoral like that. <laughs> Who's got the back seat on the way home, boys? You. Is it, is it Mark or is it Al? It's just... Are you driving, are you? Are you driving? The, the bad knee, I get in the front. Oh, like, yeah. I, I, oh, I we could just leave you here, Al. I, cheers. That's <laughs> like. I was abandoned. I'm the girl in the hospital is only for the hell there. You can really walk and get it sorted, lad. Uh, he's abandoned me earlier. I was having to wait in the roadside. Give us a call Monday, we'll pick you up when you're fixed. I'll take a wee bit longer than that to fix. Right. See you later.